So I signed for Newcastle Falcons straight out of school, uh, 18, and then I spent 10 years there and played with some of the biggest names in world rugby, Matt Burke, Johnny Wilkinson, Carl Heyman, people like that. Jamie Noon, George Perlin I played with, and Mike Ward, yeah, and Mickey Young. Well, the list, if you can do this all day, the list is quite long, isn't it? What was it? Cut that. Did some coaching in the championship and playing in the championship and we moved to France. And I took a play coaching role uh, in a little club here. It actually worked out perfectly, didn't it? Just because I didn't have to, to train during the day. I had loads of time during the day to paint. And it just gave us loads of time to get everything going. I retired after two years playing here. It's a paint full time, being at this full time. And we've got a lot of fuck ups for you to choose from. Yeah. <laughs> Is it recording? Yeah. Well, I'm painting now. So I'm painting the body dancers at the moment. Yeah, describing painting to me is really awkward. It's I find it really hard. I can't get it out. I paint because I can't speak properly. <laughs> so this is a really good idea doing this video. And then I'm also going to do some new stuff with, um, you know, like the Greco-Roman statue stuff that's coming up soon, which I'm really excited about. Fan art, com comic book art, and film art and stuff. And uh, I like that because I like the way you push me to do other things all the time. Be diverse. No secret. Just paint, work, paint, paint, yeah. paint, paint. paint. I actually use my failures from rugby and uh, the direct drive for me to be better at this. Uh, well, at the very beginning, when I first started, I wasn't aware of how lucky I was to be in that position. Took it for granted, drank far too much. Uh, I should be sitting here talking to you 200 premiership games in my belt, whereas I've got half that. Yeah, I didn't make the most of what I had when I was rugby player. My back stiff as balls up. Stop it. This should all be on video, everything you just said, by the way. I think a lack of discipline when I was early on as a rugby player has driven me to be better at being an artist because I don't want to make those same mistakes. And he broke the neck, you know. Cool. But my arms are bigger for you know. Thanks. I'm not. So tips for being an artist. Honestly, I can't remember the fucking thing you just told me. Bev does everything. <laughs> Paint as much as you can. Never stop painting. Love painting. You have to love it hard. Tips for being an artist. Um, what are they called? Dummy cards. You've got to love to paint, Bev. You have to love painting. You're tired if you feel annoyed, if you feel like you just don't want to pick up a brush, you've got to be able to get through that, pick up that brush and start painting. It's not giving you immediate returns because you've got to really, really want to do it. You have to be able to critically evaluate your own stuff. That's tough to do. That's one way where my wife's influenced my art big time. Give me, give me the ability to look at my art and like critique it and, and, change, and be able to change things like these changes, this thing is changed. Not just do it and be like, this is amazing, Bev, come and have a look at this. And oh, fucking hell. <laughs> that took a long time actually to, to get through that. And this will happen as well. You sometimes get stuck as an artist, you don't know where you're going to go on a painting. And it's really good to have someone to bounce an idea off. And so she can come, come in the studio and if I've got artist block or whatever it is, she can come in and say, you can offer me potential like fixes for any kind of issues I've got. Sometimes they don't work. It's a, it's a really good job to have, being an artist, and you, and you love it. It's, a, it's great. A good break. If you think, if you think that was too shit, subscribe, and we'll get better. And I'll learn how to say subscribe. Peace.